Why does sugar disappear when you stir it in lemonade? Is it hiding somewhere or is it gone forever? Sugar disappears because it forms a solution with lemon water. And what is a solution? In this video, we learn all about it. A solution is a special kind of a mixture. Not like the kind where you can still see the parts, like sand mixed with water. A solution is a uniform mixture. That means it looks the same from everywhere, no matter how closely you look. And every solution has two main players. The solute, which is the substance that disappears or dissolves, and the solvent, the substance that does the dissolving. Now let's look at some examples of solutions that we come across every day. Lemonade again, where sugar is the solute and water is the solvent, and together they make a solution. Then we have the salty Pani Puri water, where salt is the solute and water is the solvent. And finally, we have the air that we breathe. I'm sure this wasn't on your guest list, right? But it's true. Air is also a solution. Here, nitrogen is the main solvent. It makes up about 78% of air. And oxygen, carbon dioxide and other gases, they are the solutes, which are mixed evenly in this nitrogen. But wait. Does the solute always have to be the smaller part in the solution? Well, not really. Take the yummy gulab jamun chashni for example, the sugar syrup that you get with the gulab jamun. It's basically a solution too. Here, the sugar is the solute and the water is the solvent. And even though the sugar is present in much larger quantities as compared to the water, it's still the solute because the sugar is the one dissolving and the water is the one doing the dissolving. So the role of the solute and the solvent isn't about who is more or who is less. It's really about who is dissolving and who is being dissolved. Now here's an interesting question for you to think about. Water is called the universal solvent, right? Does that mean it can dissolve everything? Pause for a moment and think about it. Well, if that were true, this wooden spoon right here would have dissolved, right? That would be some chaos. Thankfully, water is not that powerful. So why is water called the universal solvent then? Water is given this title because it can dissolve a huge variety of substances, salts, sugars, gases and even some proteins. That's why it's so essential for life. In fact, all reactions happening inside our body cells are happening in water solutions. But water has its limitations. Try mixing oil with water. Do they blend? No, not at all. Oil floats on the water and forms a layer. Why? Because the particles of oil and water don't attract each other enough to mix. So water is a champion solvent but only for substances that are water loving. So to sum it up, the next time you sip lemonade, eat gulab jamun or just breathe, remember you are surrounded by solutions everywhere. 